All right, go ahead and deliberate. Just get to your deliberating. And oh, great, here's another cutscene. Yeah, you're not, you're not getting this episode for a while. Might be a couple episodes. Still, this is a lot of cutscenes in one sitting that I need to edit together and convert. Anyway, hmm, what's this? Oh, an evil-looking figure in a black cloak and a bald guy. Hello, bald guy. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Bald guy must is not be very why? nice. The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. I don't think he's listening to you, Baldy. So valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk? I really don't think he's listening to you. I think you're getting completely ignored, actually. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. All right. I'm sorry that I look like I've seen a ghost. I just had a rough night. Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? Like I said, I, I just have a rough night. Let's go. You got it. All right. Carthy Poo. And... Eh. <laughs> Why not? I can always change who I've got. Hmm. Uh... Yo, Candorous. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, I was wondering if you had any interesting stories. Do you want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. Well, maybe my I don't. Candorous of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. No, seriously, it's alright. fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. <sighs> all right. For my people, Go it ahead. is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Is that why you work as a mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans mm. as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand, and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle, and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now so I have no give you glory? Challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. No, when not I really. Think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned. I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Your line was actually, we'll never speak of this again. And holy crap, I <laughs> look at how enormous that blaster is when he's holding it by his side. Look at that blaster, and look at Karth's little dinky blasters. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Alright. Let's go see what the council wants. Yeah. Going down this hallway again. I think they must want you to just remember how to get here. Or something. Yeah. Hey, Bastila! Bastila has told us about I was trying to talk to Bastila. Development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seemed to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. 
We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. Gotcha. The force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? I mean, what are you talking about? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Ah. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, that would be Do good, right? Do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Oh, fine. Such thoughts are the best of the dark side. The way yeah, the you're going to hold the dark side. Things, you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Uh, actually, I can't be mad at him. He's Ed Asner, so he's lovable even when he's being completely irritable, which is most of the time. Anyway, am I ready for such hardship? I, I can try. I mean, I'll try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. All right. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. Wait, the you've, Sith you've sent many, and many have not returned. Is that the same amount of many? Assassinating our brothers Give me a percentage here. They are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are turning to the dark side. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. What happened a the thousand Council generations ago? The that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. Ah. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I accept. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. Ooh. So that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. I get to be a Jedi. I get to be a Jedi. As you wish, Master Vendor. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. Me, 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 the path me, me, you me. have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the order. Bastila seems to be winning. Swing, Kale! The power the force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi... Ah, the power of the eyebrows! Knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. Witness the power of the eyebrows. The is never alone. He our has his eyebrows. will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. It must be the eyebrows. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. In eyebrow utilization. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great... Ah! Kale's swinging now! Yet even though you are a mere apprentice... You can still float. Your potential float. is unlimited. And your progress amazing. Like how they just sort of pass in through, like, years, a bunch I've of, never seen one who has uh, mastered like, initial a few training weeks. so quickly. You've done in weeks what yep, many weeks. cannot do in years. Nice little montage to I am pass a bunch of time. Fully into the <laughs> Jedi Order. Yep, Jedi training Soon is not actually part of this game. <laughs> and you will be granted the title of Padawan. The lowest rank of well, kind of is. the Jedi Order. I mean, you have to do one first, thing. first, you must prove yourself worthy. What must I do to prove myself? <laughs> Actually, I wonder what is... <laughs> after all this, after weeks of training, I wonder what happens if, if I just say, I should be going now. You have learned much. 
Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of this the has nothing to do with me saying with a clear I, I must be going now. Mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue oh, your I training, guess it does. know that you can find me here. Alrighty. Next time on Knights of the Old Republic, and I'm stopping now so that I can end it, edit that enormous amount of cutscenes. Next time on Knights of the Old Republic, Kale Benden will become a Jedi. This has been KBM, vengeful as always.